No, this is not remotely hack and take control of any Android devices. This is more of remotely managing all these devices by being able to access their location, their storage, their file, the text messages and everything. Okay, but if you're looking to hack into a devices remotely and taking control of it, this can be one possible way if you use social engineering attack. And one of those common methods is where a hacker actually sells away used devices for you. And once you buy it, okay, because they already have the application installed inside their phone, they will be able to see everything that you're doing, all your photos, all your files, all your passwords, what websites you're going into that's part of using social engineering to be coupled with this attack method. Okay, so big disclaimer, hacking is illegal. If you decide to use this software for hacking and if you get caught, do not tell them that you know hacker law, all right? So right in front of us, I have Lemon, all right, L3 Mon. And this is the software they'll be using and you can easily gain access to it using github.com and by going to D3VL, right l3 mon so once you're in all you got to do is go ahead and install it and once you do a git clone on it you'll be able to run an apk file they'll be going through in a moment that can help you install it into any android devices and you'll be able to take control from there so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and do git clone all right and what you want to do is go ahead and copy the url here right click copy go back to terminal do a paste selection and go ahead and hit enter on that and this will begin cloning all right all the repository and all the files and documents and save it into your local drive and i have already done so so all i got to do now is go ahead and cd into l3 mon all right so once you're here into ls you see the following we have client we have screenshots we have server so go ahead and enter cd server so once you're in server enter ls and all you got to do now is enter hit main db.json and you can see right here we have the username hacker loy and we have the following password so from here alone would you be able to guess what's my password huh so this is going to be the password and the username that we'll use to log in into the site okay so now going back into the browser, I've already started L3 Mon. So all you got to do now is enter the username HackerLoy and go ahead and enter a password, 1234567 All right, so that's actually my password that I use all the time. It's the most secure password of all. And you'll be thinking, why would a hacker or a cybersecurity professional use a password like 1234567 And the answer is simple. It's reverse psychology because everyone will be thinking a cybersecurity professional will be using a strong, secure password that is like 16 characters, 20 characters, even 40, 50 characters. And with upper, lower cases, digits, symbols, numbers and so on but the truth is i'm only using one two three four five six seven eight and now that i've shared my password with you isn't it more fair that you share a password with us all so going back to the tutorial here i've already logged into the device and all you got to do now is go and click under apk builder so go ahead and click on it and once you're here you have to specify the ip address or the public url or the domain name they'll be hosting this particular apk file all right so all you got to do now is enter the ip address in my case all right my call linux hackers ip address is 192.168.0.192 so go ahead and click build all right and you can see right at the right side we have the port 22222 okay so now it's compiling apk signing the apk verifying the build finalizing and that's it we're done so go ahead and click download and it says the following l3mon.abk click save file click ok and right here we got it okay so i have actually created a file before i can go ahead and open up the folder and once we're here i can see the following l3mon.abk and of course if you see here i've downloaded several really interesting payloads attacks software applications that we use to run all this article hacking tutorials for you on this channel so go ahead and subscribe and turn on notification if you want to be kept abreast of all the latest hacking techniques so once you've downloaded the file all you got to do now is shift the file over so go under downloads all right so i'm going to my homepage, downloads i can enter ls and i can see over here i have l3mon.apk so i've highlighted right here l3mon.apk and all you got to do is do a sudo all right, and then you can move the file or you can copy the file, whichever you want to. You can enter mvl3mon.apk, all right, followed by slash var dub 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 html, hit enter on that. And it will ask you for a password, go ahead and enter a password, hit enter on that. And that's it. We have moved the file over to var dub 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 html. So we can cd to var dub 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 html, hit ls. While well, we have a lot of scary files right here, we have PHP web shell, virus, cross-site scripting, and so on and so forth. But for today's tutorial, we are focusing on l3mon.apk. And all you got to do now is enter systemctl start apache2, hit enter on that. It's prompt you for a password, go ahead and enter a password. Okay, so we have started Apache 2. All right, so go ahead and check on the status for it. So status, and we can see that we have Apache HTTP server running. And all we got to do right now is go ahead and use any device, any Android devices, and we'll be able to download the APK file and install it directly into the device.
So right here in front of us, I've actually already installed the device. Well, all you got to do is you open up any browser. All right, go ahead and enter the IP address of the machine that is actually hosting that particular file. So we got here 192.168.0.192, all right, slash l3mon.apk, hit enter on that. And this will begin downloading the file. So you can see right here, we got the following. Do you want to download l3mon.apk again? All right, so of course you can go ahead and click download and this will begin downloading process of it. So we have already downloaded a file and all you got to do now is go back over here, install the APK file, like what I've done here, I double clicked on it and that's it, we can see the file called process manager. So this is the app information. And once we are done with this, all I got to do is go back into the browser where we have user interface, click under devices. So I have two devices that has already installed the APK file. So here we have the online devices and we have the offline devices. And this software is really useful if you need to do mobile device management at scale. You need to manage hundreds, thousands of devices. You can easily use it by using this L3 mod to help you manage all these different devices across the internet, across your intranet. So let's go ahead and click on the first one called online, click manage. And we can see right here, okay, we have the first scene and the last scene. I can click on the GPS and I can click request update. So before I clicked on it, you notice the following, right? This is a blank piece of screen right now for the GPS because we are not yet, all right, looking into the particular information of the GPS. So go ahead and click request update. So we're pulling the information over and we can see right here, we got the location of the device as quickly as that we are in literally i can click on our sms manager i can click update for the sms lock oh my goodness look at that kindly transfer five million dollars over now i want you to send me money now please subscribe and like the video notification turn on to hack Alloy right now send money over right now to hack Alloy. well this is a pretty scary messages isn't it so within minutes, we are able to install an APK file and take control of the entire mobile device as quickly as that. So once again, I hope you learned something valuable in today's tutorial. And remember, like, share, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you can be kept abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.